G'day Capricorn, welcome to TJ Terra Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as it now, see what's going on, hey? So this is a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Cross watches, this could be your energy, if not it will be somebody else's, so keep that in mind. <coughs> Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes, views, comments, donations. Be nice in the comments. <laughs> Every single one of them is greatly appreciated so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, the decks I'm using today will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them. All right, Capricorn. Let's get a message for you. To start with. Oh, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Oh, Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Ooh. The true love from the past, hey? Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> and very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Forgiving and learning. Well, yeah, there's a true love you want to reconcile with, but there's some trust issues here, so you're going to have to make that decision. Do you, Can you forgive and release? <sighs> mm. Got to look what you believe about love and passion. <laughs> the passion's there, and you want to make the effort, but yeah, can you forgive and release? And heal the past with this person. Hmm. So true love. That you want to reconcile with. Ooh. Yeah, it's definitely attraction to this person. That's for sure. Hmm. <coughs> yeah. Well, you release them. But you got to clear that energy out. From the past. You've got to release that past energy here. Yeah, free yourself from that past energy. Because you can't bring the drama of the past while you broke up back into the um, relationship. Yeah, you're going to have to release it, Dal. I know you're attracted to them, but you've got to release something. Free yourself of it. Because you think this is the one. Well... Get releasing then. <laughs> All right, let's find out about them. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Nothing yet. There's one. Don't know what that is. It didn't show. Oh, okay, we got the three. <laughs> So, they have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Well, this person sees you as your soulmate. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So, it looks like they're willing to give this a chance. And unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I think they think you're not interested anymore. Is it just going to be unrequited? Hmm. Well, yeah. Well, it's the big thing, isn't it? Can you just release the past? Hmm. Look, wedding. This situation involves marriage. They're still committed to you. Yeah, and there's that forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now and pass on. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So, yeah, they still want this commitment with you, but they know that there's some healing and releasing that needs to be done between you two. Yeah, they're going to make a decision about whether the, they want this passion with you again. Oh, they've done some self, self work here. Got some self work. Yeah, and they're keeping an open mind that they, yeah, things could be different this time, but, hmm, all right, let's find out, yes, I know this is a, 
very grubby looking deck. <laughs> but it is actually the deck that I learnt tarot with first. Well, I actually learnt with this deck and um this is my little travel deck, so I took it with me when I read for friends and family and stuff. But um yeah, this is, that's why it's a bit grotty, because it's been in my bag and stuff like that. But um, this is my faithful little favourite deck. It's not the first deck I had. It's probably the second one that I used. Um, second one that I had, but I used it the most. can't say that I really, it's wrong to say that I learnt from this deck, because I actually learnt from about five or six decks at once. <laughs> I wanted to learn everything. I was so interested. So anyway, that was a few years ago now. Quite a few years ago now. All right, message for you, Capricorn. I'm waffling on. This person might be a bit of a waffler. Are you a bit of a waffler? <laughs> All right, message for you, Capricorn. Two of Wands, Five of Wands, Seven of Swords, and Six of Pentacles. Ooh. So you're in a bit of an indecisive mode here, I'm feeling a bit conflicted because um, is it just going to be drama with this person again? Should you just sneak away or try and balance this out? <sighs> Can this be moved to calmer waters and have that happy ever after ending with, or you know, that long-term love if you try and start this love again? You're really in your head about it. You stayed quiet about it, but you do want to communicate about a second chance here with this person. You've just been biding your time, waiting. Patiently waiting. Hmm. All right. Yeah, you're worried that it's, yeah, it's just going to go back to drama and cheating line stealing and all, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you've got a lot of love for this person. King of Cups, water energy that you've been holding back. From showing because there's a connection here. You see them as your soulmate too. That true love that came up before. Your divine counterpart. Yeah. Yeah, you want to heal this, don't you? Yeah, you want to heal this. <laughs> All right. Tell me about soulmate for this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Temperance, wow. <sighs> yeah, they've been patiently waiting for this to blend back together again too, but... Hmm. Like I said, they're still being committed to you with this wedding card. They're still committed to you, so they still see you as a soulmate. They have been patiently waiting. We do have an angel there. Which is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. They've been waiting for the pain to end. <sighs> been waiting for this painful ending to be over. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Swords. King of Swords. And the Nine of Swords. Wow. Lots of Swords energy. Yeah, they've been waiting for you to come back. This is Earth energy, but... <clears throat> waiting for the stable action to come back, but it hasn't happened. It hasn't moved. They've been watching and waiting. I'm trying to stay clear-headed about this, but it's just a nightmare. It's doing their head in. They don't know what to do. They're so heartbroken. They just want to show you actions of love again. There you are, Capricorn. I know, you get that horrible card. But yeah, they just want to show you actions of love. Aww. Or waiting for you to come back in and show them love again. I'm not sure which way, but I think he's both. I like that. Yeah, they've been holding back their love too. All that love they have for you. They've been holding it back as well. Alright, 
Tell me about give your relationship a chance for this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Ooh. Okay, so they've got all oh, that three of swords again. Queen of Pentacles, there you are. And that King of Cups again. Wow, they want to give us a chance. They're heartbroken that they don't have you. They got all this love that they want to show you that they haven't been able to show you. They want to show you. They want to give this a chance. They're heartbroken over you. Male or female, that's your energy. They want that love and stability back with you. And just, you know, not hold back this love anymore. A chance to show you that love that they've been holding on to. Trying to stay in control of. Yeah, they want this... They want things to change quick. <laughs> the sudden change is the tower. This can be good or bad, the tower. Yeah, they want things to change fast. Yeah, they want the old cycle to close out. And a new cycle to begin. Oh, wow, look at that. The world and the fool. Yeah. That's fast with the tower. <laughs> They want the old cycle to end, to close out the old cycle, and a new beginning to start. A balanced new beginning. Yeah. Because secretly they've been so stuck. Stuck in their head. Stuck on you. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Wanting to heal this with you. And a second chance. Judgment. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And wanting this to move forward triumphantly. Yeah, so, yeah, they come as fast as they can out, out of the cold. Oh, wow, yeah. When I saw the Emperor, I saw back by your side, investing in you, yeah. And there's the, the Emperor and the Empress, yeah. They want to be back by your side. <coughs> wow, yeah. And invest in you. Whichever one you are. <laughs> the Emperor and the Empress. Wow. 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 Alright. Tell me about unrequited love. For this love energy coming towards Capricorn please. Mm, okay. So they've got the Page of Cups. The Knight of Cups. And the High Priestess. All water energy. So, yeah. Yeah, they've wanted to speak to you of love, even apologize, maybe show you love, but they've been keeping it a secret because they don't know if you're still attracted to them. <clears throat> yeah, so they've been keeping quiet about these emotions. Lots of love here. Yeah. Hmm. You're trying to trust their instincts here, but mainly I'm just hearing they've kept quiet. They've kept. They're not saying anything because <clears throat> there's the hermit. Because they don't know whether you're going to be interested or not, or whether you're just going to ghost them. They're wanting to send this message of love. They're wanting to show you this love, but they're not saying anything because I think. <sighs> Yeah, I'm getting ghosts. They think you're just going to ghost them. They're single. They're definitely single. Um, they're not, they haven't been with anybody else. They've been committed to you. But hmm, They think about you a lot. Yeah, they've done some self-work here too. But they think the, because of the way they were, you're not going to be interested. 
Yeah, they want to heal this. They think about you a lot. <clears throat> King of Wands. Sorry, Four of Swords, King of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Sun. So they want to heal this, but they know that the actions that they took are what wounded this relationship. They, you know, and, you know, is blocking their happiness with you. But they're hoping enough time's gone by that you can come back together. And remove this confusion and have this new love together. That's what they want to manifest with you. An opportunity to offer you something, but they're really conflicted that you're, yeah... They're just going to be disappointed and you've moved that you've moved on. <clears throat> they want to work on something stable with you, that's for sure. I also got another message with these four cards. Um, they they think about you a lot, and they do want to heal this. They want to take action and be responsible. Because they're feeling like a wounded warrior from wounding, from their own actions here. And they do want to heal this and have the wheel turn in their favour. So, yeah. Mm hmm Alright, let's find out more. Message for you, Capricorn, is... Tiger. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> um, you're being called upon to provide leadership, so trust that you're capable of doing so. Manatee Dugong. Accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it. Cardinal, the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance, so do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. And boar, or the pig, face your problems head on with confidence and courage, and you will emerge victorious. So you're basically being asked to balance yourself out here. Accept the situation for what it is, and yeah. Take the lead and face the problems. Balance out the problems. Heal the problems. Take the lead. The situation is what it is. You can't change your past, is what I'm hearing. You can't change your past, but it's up to you whether you, you know, take action to... Let go, release the past, so you can heal and move forward. You've got chameleon, stay in the background and adapt to the situation, rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. Yeah, you can't make them do anything. Just, you know, you can come in and try and heal this, but you can't, you know, determine whether that what will happen moving forward. And falcon or peregrine, I don't never know how to say that. Anyway, falcon, <laughs> act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation. So, yeah. The opportunity here is to heal this. Where it goes after that, well, you just got to step back and see what happens. All right. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Because I think you can reconcile your differences and heal if you can let go of the drama of the past. But, yeah, that has to be done before anything else happens here. And there we go. One, two, three. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, that's actually four. So this one goes back. Oh, sorry about that loud bang, too. All right. So they've got boar, yeah, the pig. 
Uh, face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious. Okay. pew oh pew <laughs> I always do that. This is the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, the Wicked Witches soldiers sing that as they're going in. Anyway, it's a Hawaiian now. <laughs> I don't always say you pew I don't know how, if that's how you say it or not, but yeah. Anyway, your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance now, so pay close attention to signs and omens from them. So they're getting, you know, signs. Yeah, the spirit guides are giving them signs. They need to pay attention, so hopefully they are. We'll see what the signs are telling them. And tortoise, you are too fragmented, so do whatever it takes to get grounded. Hmm... Yeah. Well, as we saw that Eight of Swords, they're a bit stuck in the head about it. Hmm. Because I'm uh, requited, it could be. They could be getting messages that this can be resolved here. Because you want to resolve it, they want to resolve it. Hmm. All right, bottom of the deck for them is Mountain Goat. There's something out of balance in your life, so do whatever you need to do to correct it. Yeah, there's something out of balance for them. Ladybug, this is a time of good fortune and abundance, so be willing to receive all good things in your life, which I think is what the the signs are trying to tell them. There's something good here. Mouse, you're overlooking some important details, so pay closer attention to what is going on. Yeah, they're missing missing something here. It's got them out of balance. And shark, trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, they're missing something here that's out of balance. This is, you know, there's a good opportunity here for you to. But, yeah, they need to trust their intuition on this because this is their intuition here. That's saying to reach out with that apology and show love here. That's what their intuition is telling them. But they're staying, they're staying ghosting or single or alone, thinking this is unrequited. And I think that, you know, that's, out, that's what's out of balance for them. There's a really good opportunity here, but they're overlooking something, which is their in intuition to trust that, you know, there's a chance here. And I think they want to, but they keep seeing that it's unrequited. And they're not, you know, their intuition's telling them to reach out to you, but they're stopping themselves. Hmm. All right. Because I know you're this old, mate. All right, message for you, Capricorn, is... King of Cups, King of Water, Nine of Water, the High Priest or the Magician here, and the Knight of Fire. So you've got all this love for this person that you've been holding back or controlling, trying to keep under control, trying to keep it... You know, keep your emotions under control when it comes to this person. But they are your wish fulfillment here. And you're trying to manifest them in. So the advice is, you've got to take action. Night of fire. You have to take action. That, yep, that's the truth. You've got to take action and speak your truth. Because that's what manifestation is about. Yes, putting it out to the universe what you want. <coughs> Sorry. But you've got to take the action to get it to start happening. It doesn't magically just appear on your doorstep. You've got to take the action to get it to happen. So, yeah, you're being asked to take that action. If this is what you really want, you're going to have to do something about it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, 
five of air. Yeah, or you're just sabotaging yourself. Self-sabotage. By not, not taking action. Yeah. Shaman, which is a uh, hierophant in the afterlife. With the night of air, yeah. <coughs> you're going to sabotage this commitment here with this person. And afterwards you're going to be, yeah, after it clo after you've sabotaged it, you're going to be like, oh, why didn't I take action? Mm. All right. So, boar, I'm going to reread these as I clarify. Boar, they have uh, facial problems head on with confidence and courage, and you will emerge victorious. Why do they have the boar for this love energy coming towards Capricorn? Was that a flip there? No, it didn't. Okay. Nine of fire. Hmm. The wounded warrior. The one with the guard up. Okay. The wall up. So, yeah. I think they need to take that wall down. And remove that wound. Well, the wounded warrior attitude um, needs to be faced. Why do they still feel wounded? What is the wounding? Mm, you know. You can only control yourself, so... They need to look at what is this wounding. Why are they? Why have they got the wall up? They need to face the problem of that wall that's up. Yeah, Queen of Fire. Oh, and there's the King of Fire. So yeah, they have to get their confidence. They got to take action. Get their confidence up. This is love and passion. But. She's stable, uh, sorry, she's independent, confident, goes after what she wants, very passionate about life. Not really the committing type, but very confident and independent. So, yeah, they've got a guard up, which is blocking their confidence. And this is what they need to face. Yeah, and there it is. Face your problems head on with confidence and courage. Yeah, and there's the king of fire, king to the queen. And there's the queen of air, the high priestess again, which is up there, and the five of water. Yeah, because, yeah, they need to get in, in control of their actions and their passions, be confident about who they are. Um, so they they can come correctly here, and intuitively they know that, because if they don't, they're going to be yeah, disappointed in themselves for not taking the action and speaking their truth, same as you, because they do want to invest in you, worried their offer is going to be rejected, but, you know, they need to make the offer regardless to heal this. You know, face to face communication or communication, like, yeah, to heal this. So they're gonna have to face why they got their wall up against doing this. Page of Fire and the Four of Air. Uh, see, they think maybe a bit of passionate communication will help heal this situation and bring the connection back together but I don't think that's a good idea yeah there's a passionate communication I think it's yeah it's going to cause drama because you just need to have a uh, proper talk before you worry about any sort of passion yeah they're worried that the communication you know if they come in with this to try and heal it that way and bring the connection back together, then the conversation will turn into that drama again, fighting again. So they're trying to work on it, yeah, they're trying to work on a better way to communicate, taking their time, yeah, waiting. Because they want something stable with you, hopefully they come in with an apology or a message of love. That's what they're trying to look at, look at things differently. Yeah, yeah, if they want that long-term stability. Mm. 
they're, but they're also trying to defend and protect themselves. Protect their own stability here. Yeah, this is things they need to look at. They, yeah, they've got some stuff they need to deal with here. And we've got that Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, if they want this long-term stability, mm, can't be defensive about... I mean, you can still be independent together. Two Nine of Pentacles will make a Ten of Pentacles work, but can't be defensive about it. Yeah, I think, you know, if they want something stable long-term, they've got to get in control of their actions. <sighs> that fiery actions. All right. So, Puyo, or however you say it, uh, Hawaiian Owl, your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance now, so pay close attention to signs and omens from them. Why is the Hawaiian owl here? <laughs> Pueo for this love energy coming to us, Capricorn. All right. So we've got the moon and the wheel of fortune, or the wheel of fate in this deck. So I think they're, they're getting signs, but maybe they're not seeing them. Maybe they're not clear. The signs aren't clear. The signs that they're getting, I think it's causing them more confusion. But the signs are telling them that, you know, time is ticking here. It's the right time. The wheel is turning in your favour. This is the right time. But I don't think they're seeing them clearly. They're not understanding the signs are here. Yeah, they're not seeing them. Yeah, it's in the shadows. They don't see it properly. They can't really... The, the signs are there, but they're not seeing them clearly. They're getting confused by them. Well, they're afraid that time's running out, but even more, you know, this is what they're telling them. Time's running out. You're going to miss out, mate. Nine of air. It could be... Well, it's keeping them up at night, stressing about this. They're looking for a sign, but the sign's there. They're just not seeing it. Or well, they're stressing too much about... They could be getting the signs at night time when they're trying to sleep. It could be waking them up, but... Well, they're stressed. They can't sleep at night. Yeah, then I, I don't think they're thinking clearly to see the signs. Yeah. Five of air, sabotage, the commitment with the Hierophant, the afterlife, and the night of air. Yeah, it's again... They know. They're stressing about sabotaging the commitment here rather than looking that, you know. This is the extra card after there's an, the world and then there's the universe card and then the afterlife, which is before we go back to the full. So it's preparing for the next stage, which is the new beginning. You know, this is the thing. I think they're stressed about how they sabotaged the connection before. But if they want this, a new beginning here, they're going to have to take action. Or this is just going to end. They've got to take actions of love here. But they're so indecisive about this. Which is, they're cheating themselves out of something that could grow here. <clears throat> yeah. Three of us, they just got to start working on it. Yep. Instead of umming and erring and being indecisive, they just got to start working on this. Working on healing it. They told me to look behind there. Um, yeah, working on healing this. You've got to put the work in to heal it. You can't um and err and, oh, I don't know. And da, da, da. Nothing's going to happen. You're just going to sit in that nine of swords, stressing out, in fear. 
for all of time. <laughs> well, for a long time anyway. What's that? Yeah, they're going to have to communicate, make the offer to heal this with you. There you are, King of Earth. They're going to have to, yeah. Communicate with you. Okay, Tortoise, you're being too fragment. You're too fragmented. So do whatever it takes to get grounded. Yeah, they're definitely fragmented here for sure. Why is the Tortoise here for this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please? Judgment and the Queen of Water. Yeah. This beautiful love, the best love in the deck. All queens are loving and she's the queen of love. You can't get any more love out of a human being than the, the queen of cups. Um, yeah, they're too fragmented to make the right judgment call about this beautiful love. Really, the judgment... I mean, this is reconciling as well. Judgment. Reconciling with the... Be How can you be... <sighs> They've got to get themselves grounded because how can you not make the right judgment call when it's the best love in the deck? Yeah, you know, running to reconcile with the one that they, that they want to give or receive or both the best love. What's at the bottom? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to work on, you know, they want to work on it, but they're, uh, something that they want to work on, but they're too stuck up in their head about this. They want to heal this. There's a Four of Swords again, and it's under this deck as well to end the readings. We've ended with this, and we've ended with this in the two decks. The lovers, the eight of wa eight of fire or wands, and the five of fire. But they want to show me the eight of earth and the two of earth. Yeah. So yeah, they want they want to heal this. They want this connection back together. They want this passionate communication, but they're so conflicted, <coughs> fragmented. Because, yeah, they want to work on it, but, but they don't know how. They don't know how to offer this stable new beginning to you. They're trying to get more information. So this can move forward with towards you. Move to calmer waters towards you. Well, see, this is the thing. You need to heal some stuff here. Yeah, this person's a bit of a mess. I don't think they know how to heal this. I think they need to do a bit of healing themselves. Because they're freaking out a lot. They want to heal it. And then they know the right way to come in and do that. But they're just too stressed to see. It's, it's pretty simple. If it's unrequited, it's unrequited, but you can at least heal what, you know, heal what happened, bef you know, what happened. If it doesn't work out, well, and that's the problem. If it doesn't work out and you used to reconcile your differences and go your separate ways, that's what they're freaking out about. <clears throat> yeah. All right, let's see what you just want to say. What does Capricorn want to say? What do you want to say? I pretend I don't care about you, okay. I'm afraid you will reject me, the same as them. I'm keeping you a secret and I love you. See, you're keeping it a secret that you still love this person. You're worried they're going to reject you and you pretend you don't care, but you do, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, they're the same. I'm not laughing at you. I'm just, I just think it's funny that you're both the same. Yeah, you love this person. You do. They're your true love. 
and you don't want to give up on this at all. You don't want them to give up on you, and you, yeah, you haven't given up either. Uh, okay, at least three cards for what this love energy would like to say to Capricorn, please. I know that laugh was like Nelson, wasn't it, from Simpsons? Ha <laughs> ha. No, I wasn't laughing. Yeah, I just found it funny that he's a both the same. Well, okay, let's get these in order. And that one is last because it stayed in the deck. All right, even though it flipped at some stage. It wanted to come out last. All right, so they have you turn me on. Yeah, they're definitely turned on by you. They think you're hot. I am not available. Yeah, because they're not. They're a, they're a mess. They're a bit of a mess. I need time to heal. Yes, you do. But they also want to heal this with you, and they don't want to miss that opportunity, and that's why they're freaking out. Because they haven't healed... Look at me. I'm going 100 miles an hour. Because this is their energy. It's so... Yeah. They've got stuff they need to heal within themselves. But they don't want to miss it. They're freaking out, because they don't want to miss the opportunity to heal this with you. And that's what they're stressed about. And whether this is unrequited. I wish I had treated you better. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry I lied to you. Yeah, here we go. Oh, it's my stomach. I don't trust you. This is that unrequited. They don't trust that you still feel the same way. I want you next to me. Yeah, they want you back for sure. And I'm not over you. Well, we know that, mate. We definitely know that. Mm. It's just not... Yeah, okay. We'll go like that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I know I've got more <laughs> off the bottom. So they have... I'm waiting for an apology. They want it... Well, maybe they're waiting for an apology, or maybe they want to what they want to apologise. I think they want to apologise because they got the page of cups. They can't wait to see you again. But yeah, they're they're in a codependent situation. Then they're not they're not really. They need to get their independence and confidence because they're not at the moment. I don't think they're with anybody else or in codependent on anyone else. They just aren't independent. And they're afraid it's not going to work out. Yeah, for sure. They are afraid it won't work out. That's how I'm requited. And yeah, so they bury themselves in work to forget you, but... <sighs> yeah, they try and just... Yeah... They're trying to distract themselves to have this go away, but it's not going anywhere. You can't, yeah, you can't. It was not going to go away. So, hmm. All right. Well, this poor person is a bit of a mess. A bit of a mess. But, you know, maybe if you can work out those differences from the past and put that to rest then maybe they'll be able to heal and you'll be able to go from there. But uh, it's up to you. But yeah, they're freaking out. They're freaking out. For sure. Alrighty then. Yeah, they're not feeling confident. They need to get their confidence up. So yeah, they need to heal. Alright, well that's your reading Capricorn. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Comment, be nice, please. <laughs> in the description, in the comment section, please be nice. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. All the best, take care, good luck, and I'll catch you later.